Hi, I'm Anna from AnnaGEFT.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today's video is about things to consider when moving to another country. Over 6 million Americans call another country home. And they do so for various reasons like work, uh, better medical care, more affordable living, better climate, and for my personal favorite, which is love. Whatever the reason that you're considering moving to another country, there are a few important things that you need to consider first. Number one is language. Communication is something that we often take for granted. But when you're in a foreign country and you're wanting to express yourself, you know, especially if you're looking for the bathroom, and incidentally, I actually know how to ask where is the bathroom in Spanish, um, German, Boestas Vesi, and Arabic, when toilet. So I like to be prepared, which is good. So what you're going to need to do is get ready to study and practice the language as much as you possibly can before going. And also consider taking additional language lessons once you arrive. Not only will it strengthen your ability to communicate there, but it's also going to be a great way for you to meet new people. And another thing to consider is taxes. Um, basically, whenever you're living in another country, the IRS expects you to pay U.S. taxes as long as you're a citizen. The third thing to think about is medical. It's really important to be aware of the medical services available to you in another country and how you know the quality and the consistency is. Many people want to live in other countries with more affordable medical care, which truthfully is just about any country outside the US. And the fourth thing to think about is safety. The reality is that you have to be careful no matter where you are in the world. But with some common sense, you can stay safe. Of course, you don't want to walk around with really expensive jewelry on, uh, showing off a lot of valuables, and don't go into bad areas. Befriend locals that can show you around and watch after you. And don't walk around late at night, especially if you're a woman and you're intoxicated. Common sense, common sense stuff. Stuff you don't want to do anywhere, really. And if you can avoid countries where there's a lot of political upheaval or religious fundamentalist groups, that's good too. If you can't, you can't. And the fifth thing I wanted to share with you is living arrangements. If you're not moving to another country for love or to live with a friend or family member, you may be wondering, where am I going to stay? A local hostel or a hotel can be a place to stay for a short period of time. But for something more long term, I, I recommend enlisting the help of a real estate agent. They will cost you money, but it's well worth it and your sanity will survive your move if you get a real estate agent to help you. And the sixth thing I wanted to talk to you about is working in another country. Do your research and go for a low risk, consistent paycheck, not some big venture that requires any upfront investments of time or money, because you're still getting acclimated to a new environment. Just make connections and be open to opportunities. And the seventh thing I was gonna share with you is technology. Technology is going to be an invaluable tool for you while you are there. It's a wonderful way for you to connect with friends and family. Just keep, you know, keep up on what's going on with people in your life. And be sure to get a local cell phone as well. And there's a lot of really great apps as well, like WhatsApp and internet calling apps, language translators, currency converters, and GPS just to make your life a lot easier. And the eighth thing I wanted to share with you is making new friends. Moving to another country automatically means you're gonna be outside your comfort zone, which means you're gonna need friends, and a lot of them. So make friends by participating in the local events. Say hi to everyone you meet, or at least almost everyone. And you can befriend other expatriates as well through meetup groups, um, you might be able to find a blogger that lives in the area that's blogging about the area. Just send them an email and see if they want to meet up for tea and coffee. Most people will drink tea or coffee, so don't be shy. And the ninth thing I wanted to go over with you is residency and visas. You may not know whether you're going to become a citizen of your new nation or if you're just going to go on an extended visa. If you go the extended visa route, you're going to have to renew it um, typically every 90 days. And that does restrict your ability to own property. So just be certain to do your homework 
and talk to other expatriates who've been in the same situation. So making the decision to move to another country is an enormous step. You are a brave soul, remember that. It is a truly amazing opportunity to explore the world and learn about another culture and a, and a good bit about yourself as well. You know, definitely you're gonna learn how independent and adaptable you are. This move is gonna have its challenges, I promise you that, but with the right planning, it can be done and it will be worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you like it a lot, share it with your friends. I appreciate that. I'm an EFT practitioner and a stress management expert and I've made it my mission to help you become less stressed, more energized, and filled with a lot more love. So please come over to my website and sign up for your free tips on simple and fast ways to make your life a lot less stressful and just a lot more fun. And remember to just keep tapping and letting the love in. You're making this world a better place for you and for everyone else. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Anna from AnnaGEFT.com. Thanks so much. See you next time.